Hey there guys, so today we have another episode of Battle Beers. This is a session IPA edition. I've been really excited to try this with summer coming, or summer here actually, and everything. Um, basically, uh, a session beer is something that's around 5 or 6% ABV or lower, and the goal is to sort of create something that um, is drinkable, that where you can have a good amount and not be completely wasted from it. And uh, what brewers are doing now are session IPAs. Uh, basically, these are IPAs that they've sort of pulled back on the alcohol and the malt, and they've sort of popped it like very much like an IPA. So what we have here is Stone Go-To IPA, um, Firestone Easy Jack, uh, which are both new, and then... Um, uh, Founders All Day, which is a slightly older recipe. They're all quite fresh. Um, these two are about a month. This one's about uh, two months old. And uh, so, yeah, I've had all three, but I actually don't know personally which I which one I think is the best. So I thought I'd do this. Um, I actually really enjoy the style because it's great for summer. You know, you want to have a barbecue, you want to go to the beach or something, just, you know, have a few beers, you know, not get completely wasted and stuff. So it's great to dig in this beer. So let's, let's do this. So this beer has a wonderful kind of orange zest, tangerine quality, very nice aroma, a little bit of breadiness. Let's think of this one. This one's less uh, aromatic. Um, I'm getting a, maybe that same citrus, maybe a bit of clementine, maybe a bit of breadiness, a bit of floral, but yeah, not much behind that aroma. Oh, wow. This one's uh, uh has a uh, slight issues with the aroma too. It's um, grapefruity, it's a uh, sweet orange, um, a lot of breadiness, a bit of pine. Yeah, so yeah, let's think on the flavor on these three. Oh wow, very nice, woof. This one pops in the front with a nice citrus, um, uh, almost got like a, a melon, like a, a, a lemon peel, or, uh, a melon peel or something. A lot of huge amounts of like, um, Eucalyptus and lavender potpourri flavors lingering on the back. Uh, reasonably dry, uh, decently bitter, very light malt body. Similar malt body. This one's definitely more citrus forward. Uh, not as much of that floral quality. Um, on that back, I sort of get maybe hints of like white grape, um, maybe hints of like grassiness or something. Uh, very easy drinking, a little bit sweeter on the malt. Uh, yeah, a little bit sweeter, uh, less hop forward and less um, drying. This one's sim more similar to the second one, um, but I'd say it's def definitely more bland. Um, I get a stiff amount of uh, like a citrus peel bitterness on the back, so it might be the most bitter of the three. Uh, but in general, it's not as um, uh, flavorful in flavor throughout the uh, experience. A grassiness, um, yeah, grassiness throughout. Um, light malt character. Yeah, this one's, I'd say, the most bland. Um, so yeah, on rate, on uh, preference, I would say this is the best and this and this um, turn out that way. Uh, let's take a guess on which one's which. Um, the bland one. I would guess it's the all day. This one has a nice citrus quality though. I don't know if I want it last. Yeah, this one has a nice kind of pop of like melon sweetness or grapefruit, really nice. Uh, so the last place I will go to all day. Uh, this one I believe is um, Easy Jack. Yeah, this one I believe is Easy Jack. Mm. This one has a nice kind of um, a heavy, uh, pine and a grapefruit peel kind of flavor. Definitely associated with um, uh, stone. Um, so it does really have that floral quality, really interesting stuff. Uh, so let's, let's find out the result. So uh, this one I thought was last, I thought was all day. Let's find out. This one is all day, very good. Yeah, slightly bland in my mind. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, there's grassiness, pine. A uh, light kind of grapefruit peel, not too much behind it. Uh, number two, I thought was Easy Jack. Let's find out. Wow, Easy Jack, great, sweet. So that means I'm right all the way. Yeah, this one has a nice kind of hint, more breadiness, um, more new age hops. So you're getting a bit more like floral, grassy, drying, um, just a little bit more hop forward than uh, the all day. And then obviously this go-to. 
And I was correct. Wow, awesome. I'm really happy that I was able to pick out all three. Um, hard, definitely very hard. All these three beers are light bodied. I will, not, I will say you're not going wrong with any of these three. They're very hot forward. If you're into IPAs, you'll definitely like this. Um, also, if you uh, like uh, like light malt bodies, like I do in my, generally my IP, IPAs, then you're gonna like this because I really like the fact that it's lower ABV and it has a light body. I think this is perfect. Mm. I definitely say the go-to is the best. So it just really uh, pulls the most aggressive amount of hops. Nice kind of transition between the orange um, to the hint of malt body, uh, lots of grapefruit peel, and then that huge floral quality on the back, uh, light and really nice and dry. Um, surprising that Stone really put out, I think, the, like, uh, the clear uh, best winner of these three. And um, so yeah, let me know you, what you guys think about uh, uh, Session IPAs, about the word, what Session IPA means. Uh, if you've had any of these three, give me your opinion on these three, uh, what your preference is. Um, I'm glad to find out that I finally know, because I've had all three, I couldn't tell you uh, which one I like the best because I hadn't done the blind. And clearly I know why now because they're so similar. It's really hard uh, to pick out these three. You know, maybe on a different day, I probably would have just switched around them. Um, so yeah, uh, until next time, guys, cheers. Highly recommend all three of these beers, but for me, Stone Go-To one. Later.